Why did I just take it there? <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, yes, I am fresh faced for right now. We are going to do an unboxing and review slash demo on the Michael Todd Beauty Sonic Blend. It said that it is the world's first antimicrobial sonic makeup brush. So it's basically like an electronic makeup brush, if that makes any sense. I'm very excited, I've never used this before, but I have seen people on their Instagram page demoing this and using it. You know how they do like those little makeup tutorials on Instagram now that's kind of what she did so another great thing about this product before I start unboxing it I was doing a little bit of reading on it and where it says antimicrobial if you're like me you're like what 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 the hell does that mean? What does that mean? I know it has something to do with bacteria, I think, or something like that. It just says that the brush head comes with the built-in life protection against microbial contamination. It's all like the dirty stuff that's on your beauty blender and your other makeup brushes that you just don't see. If you could see it, we probably wouldn't use it. But it just says that traditional makeup brushes do not provide this protection. Mm. It says it's safe, effective, and long-lasting. Um, the antimicrobial part of the makeup brush itself will never wash out so you don't have to worry if you're like washing out any of the good stuff in the brush it's always built in there it has like a life guarantee with that and it just shows you um what like other makeup brushes look like that's bacteria and then that's what theirs looks like so it's not gonna get a hundred percent that's like 99.5 percent of the crud not lingering on there so it just goes into depth about it how to work the makeup brush and everything um, like I said I did do a little reading beforehand just so I can uh, show you guys rather than sit here read and do it like in my last tutorials let's show you what's in the box shall we they have other colors than this I know they have a leopard one it just it's really cute and it's really girly it says it's the first kind of its makeup brush that applies makeup at sonic speeds up to 200 times per second no, I don't know about you, but my man can't do that. Hey. It says you can use it to apply blush, highlight, contour, foundation, anything like that. So we're actually going to do the foundation, highlight, and contour today. So stick around if you'd like to see. And then let's get unboxing, shall we? So I may or may not have unboxed it already. <laughs> and I already charged it. When you get it, you have to charge it. So let me show you. It comes with this pink charger. It's very similar to your iPhone. Literally, it would probably work for the iPhone 6, I believe. And then it does not come with like the cube part. So just use your phone charger. I'm guessing that they just assume that you have one. You could plug it into your computer or whatever takes a USB cord you can plug it into. I just had um, an extra phone charger laying around. So I just used that. So this is what it looks like I don't have the brush head attached to it at the moment not yet so it just looks like this and it's just sleek and it's pink and it's shiny and it just looks like something I would have loved when I was little like a little Barbie brush or like something like that and here is the makeup brush head that comes with it I did go around and feel this because I'm always feeling makeup brushes even if I'm at Sephora Sephora <laughs> even if we're at Sephora I'm always like like amazed by the brushes. So this is probably the firmest but softest brush that I've ever felt, if that makes sense. And I've felt a lot of firm brushes, if you know what I mean. You put the pain in the hole, okay? And you got your brush. That's it. When I put it on, I was like twisting and I'm like, okay, I'm obviously not supposed to twist because you can like feel that it's getting, there's like a spring in there and you're not supposed to do that. So you just pop it right on. Um, and then it has the power button and then it has a power of up to three speeds. Now, when you first get the brush, you're going to have to charge it. It says to do it for at least three hours. Mine was red. And then when it was done charging, it turned green. So you can see like the green light right there. You can see it. Can you hear it? To turn it off, you just hold it in and then it goes off. So it has three speeds and yeah, let's get started. Just to make things a little easier, I've already prepped my skin. I've just gone in with the Marc Jacobs. This has a long ass name, primer. The Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. <sighs> and then the foundation we're gonna be using today is the foundation that seems to be matching my face and my body more than any other foundation I have right now because I do have a little bit of tan going on on my body. Ew. When I film, it never looks like it matches, but in person, I swear to God, it looks like it matches. So we're going to be using the Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless. This is in Warm Honey 322. The way that I apply my foundations, I'm messy. I put it on the back of my hand, okay? That might be a little too much, but we'll work with it. And then for some reason, I just take my 
ring finger and I'll just go ahead and dot it along my face. If you like that big ass zit there that was not there this morning, me too. I had a video where I was doing something, I think I, it was the applying foundation with a toothbrush video that I'll link below. You can see how bad my lighting and things were back in the day. Um, and everyone was like, you put too much foundation on. Like, girl, live your life. I shall live mine. <laughs> and then put some on my lids. And like I said, I used a little too much on the hand, but that's okay, that's what paper towels are for. Okay, so when you read in the instructions, it does say to use it just like how you would a usual makeup brush if you're applying, you know, just go in these small circles. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the fastest speed just because I feel comfortable with that. Okay, and I'm just going to start blending it out. Okay, this is the softest brush I've ever felt. Not kidding. Let's bring you guys a little closer for this part. So well, this foundation is probably appearing to be a little yellow, but loving it. And that's not what it looks like, I swear. I'll tell you guys a story while we're doing this. So I have like really nasty stash hairs, although I'm a woman. And, you know, I like to pluck them sometimes. And when I pluck the hair, it's like I always get irritation. So that's what that is. No judgments, guys. Because I know how YouTube trolls can be. Oh, rip me a new asshole. Okay. So it's applying it evenly. I just can tell that I need more in some spots. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply more. Highlight and contour, I'm going to be using two products from the LA Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer line. But to contour with, I'm going to be using this one and it is in the shade Toast. And then this is just the um, yellow corrector, which I really love this to highlight with because I like my highlighting to be a little bit on the yellowy side. Um, these are really cheap. I love the quality. And the pigment is really good too. So I'm trying not to load up just yet, but you know me, I always overdo it. But that's me. So I'm applying it to all the places that I want to highlight. Make the chicken foot right here. My nose highlight. I'm not sure how well this is going to be with the nose because the brush is um, a little on the round side. So it might not be good for nose contour, but guess what, we're gonna find out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint onto that pimple that I have, and that was probably a lot. <laughs> I'm not used to contouring with cream contours or contour concealers, as I call them. So if this is a little messy, that's why. Just gonna go ahead and not go too ham on the forehead because we don't want to look like we just shit out our forehead. I'm not concerned about getting the contour perfect. I just want you guys to see the capability of the Sonic blend and how well it um, blends out. So I'm gonna start blending out my highlight first. I'm just gonna go on the second speed for this. So far so good. And I like to take it onto my eyelids as well, usually when I'm doing my full makeup. Okay, so then you're left with something like this. I think it blends it so that it looks very normal, which I'm pleasantly surprised with, and I don't suck at cream contours. Yes! 
it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and I will be back. Yes, honey, and this is what we are left with. Started from the bottom, now we're kinda still here working our way up. But as you guys can see, it just literally applied my foundation and concealer and contour seamlessly. I did go over the contour with just some powder. I always feel like I need to go over contour and powders just to set it. It was very easy to apply, it wasn't streaky it didn't leave me looking cakey or anything like that it really worked the product into my skin which i absolutely love i hate how sometimes i feel like when i use my beauty blender it feels like the sponge just soaks up all of my foundation probably because of my nails and how my nails always seem to puncture my beauty blender somewhere so it's like all the water and all the product just gets trapped in that nasty little hole it just get, it gets trapped in there and there ain't nothing mama can do about it I highly recommend this for anybody who loves using a makeup brush um, to apply their makeup or if you're looking for just a new way to apply your makeup. I always used my beauty blenders and things and yes, I know that it's highly disgusting, highly dirty. My nose is running. Ew. Highly gross to keep all my beauty blenders in here because there's probably so much bacteria growing on them and that's why there's bacteria growing on my face. So with that being said, like I told you guys about the technology that the Michael Todd brush has is that it actually keeps it from getting nasty and keeps any bacteria going on here. And you can tell that I obviously cleaned the tip off. I just used, used, I used, I just used. I just used baby soap and some lukewarm water just to um, really get the bristles clean. And obviously, as I showed you guys, you just take it off. So this doesn't need to get wet at all, but you still can clean this if you feel like you need to. Your caring instructions and everything for cleaning it is in the manual. So I will link below all of the Michael Todd links for you guys, the social media links and the actual website to where you can purchase the makeup brush. If the coupon code is still going on, I will link it below also for you guys or put it somewhere in this video so that you guys know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and stay Bella. Bye guys.